I want to do things a little bit differently this week, so I'm going to start off by highlighting two books that I'm into right now. First up from Image Comics, we have Rain number two. Rain was a book I initially slept on, but the hype from the comic book community sucked me into giving the book a try, and as often is the case, it was a wise decision. The book is an adaptation of Joe Hill's novella Rain that first appeared in his collection Strange Weather in 2017. David M. Boer is handling the adaptation with Zoe Thorogood on the art, Chris O'Hallorhan on the coloring. The book opens introducing us to Honeysuckle Speck and the love of her life, Yolanda Rusted. We move with the couple to Boulder, Colorado to start a new life together. We're enjoying the couple's excitement for this new chapter in their life when crystal needles fall from the sky for eight minutes, killing 8,000 people in Boulder, 16 lives per second. I was initially unsure about the art in this book. There was an early panel where I stopped reading because I couldn't stop staring at how a foot was drawn. But continuing through the story, while the art is not perfect, it really began to work for me in combination with the storytelling. The coloring from Chris O'Hallorahan really helps in making the art pop off the page. When the rain comes, the art is brutal and unforgiving. You really feel the pain as Honeysuckle watches the love of her life die a graphic death in front of her. Loving this book, really looking forward to jumping in on number two. Next up from AWA Upshot, we've got The Crimson Cage number three, another book I want to highlight for you. The Crimson Cage is set in the 1984 regional wrestling circuit of Louisiana. Our main character, Chuck Frenzy, is the big fish in this small pond, but his wife Charlene has aspirations for more than just the local Louisiana scene. She's shown pressuring Chuck to get both of them out of there. That night, he goes out drinking with a buddy, the abominable Grud, and afterwards, they both encounter a spirit out in the swamp. The spirit tells them that Chuck will become world champion, but it'll only be once, and his legacy will end there. It tells abominable Grud he'll never be world champion, but that his son will begin a lasting legacy of champions. Chuck short-sightedly happily takes the deal by accepting the dagger. The story then jumps to the world champ Van Ambled coming to town for a match with Chuck Frenzy. Emerald puts Chuck over at an event hyping the match and then later that night goes drinking with Chuck. Chuck plans to take the opportunity to put the Swamp Spirit's prophecy into motion but is stopped when Emerald promises to pass the world title to him. Fast forward to the match and Chuck is on fire thinking this match will make him world champion. The plan was for Chuck to break out of Emerald's signature move, but when the time comes, Emerald won't let him out of it and wins the match. Chuck and Charlene are furious and rush to confront Emerald after the match. But Emerald is nowhere to be found and they're told by wrestlers that travel with the champ that he does this to all the local stars he performs with. This leads to Chuck making a big decision. I'm loving the art and I'm loving the flow of this story and I'm loving the behind the scenes wrestling feel of this book. So cannot wait to jump back in for number three. 